Hello everybody, my name is Gordon and we are here with One Maniac Reviews and today we are talking about Thor Ragnarok, Marvel's third Thor movie and the precursor to Infinity War. Now, I say precursor because I don't really think that Black Panther is going to deal too much with the Infinity War, I think that's going to be more with Wakanda, but who knows? This movie, it has Chris Hemsworth as Thor, once again, we get Tom Hiddleston as Loki, there is the new edition of Kate Blanchett as Hela, Idris Elba returns as Heimdall, and, of course, we have Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master. Now, let's talk about Jeff Goldblum's character for a little bit. Jeff Goldblum is a wonderful actor. I've enjoyed him in everything that I've seen, from The Fly to Jurassic Park, and even in this as the Grand Master. He plays that slimy, psychopath character very well. Because there is literally just, in this movie, he will go from, Hey guys, let's have a big party. I'm going to kill this person, but we're not going to focus on that. We're going to go back to having fun. And that is perfect for this character. We also get uh, Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie. Now, the Valkyrie are a form of elite warriors on Asgard. This movie is not what it was marketed as to us. Everybody marketed it as Mark Ruffalo and Chris Hemsworth, a Thor Hulk buddy comedy. Although it is that 80s buddy comedy, it is not so much between Thor and Hulk as it is between Thor and Loki. One of my absolute favorite scenes within this movie comes in the form of, I'm not going to give away the scene, but if you have not seen the movie yet, or even if you have, there is a scene that they refer to as Get Help. I laughed so hard at that scene. And that's what this one really is. We know with the original Thor, it was a decent movie for what it was. It was the beginning of of the Marvel franchises, it was when they were just coming to form. It was when they were getting that formula down. Now, as everyone says, oh, they've done the formula over and 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 over. But the Marvel movies are good. DC finally found a formula with Wonder Woman and created a good movie there. But that one kind of used the Marvel formula. And actually, if you look at Batman Begins, Batman Begins did the Marvel formula for DC. Now, in this, we actually do get to get rid of that Marvel formula just a little bit. Because the way that this movie is shot and the way that this movie is, is not normal for the Marvel Universe. This is kind of like... I feel it was a soft reboot to the Thor franchise because the Thor franchise has always kind of been this Shakespearean family drama. Now, it does have a touch of that in this, but it skips over those parts and gets through them very quickly and gets you back to the comedy aspect. So whenever anything really dramatic happens in this movie, a few minutes later you are laughing like no tomorrow. This is, in my opinion, the best Thor movie. And it feels like it borrows from the Guardians of the Galaxy. It has that 1980s feel to it. The music within this movie felt very Tron-esque. But that being said, the music within this movie is very fitting. 
this is a much brighter movie than what we're used to. There are very bright, eye-catching colors within it. And when they do the comedy, the comedy lands. When they do the drama, the drama lands. Kate Blanchett as Hella is amazing. The costumes in this are incredible. Everything is done so well. I loved this movie. I recommend this movie to everyone. If you are a Marvel fan, I know you're already going to go see it. If you're an 80s action buddy comedy fan, you're going to enjoy this movie. And I also kind of feel that they explain it enough that if you've missed out on a couple of Marvel movies, you're going to understand this movie. Alrighty, guys. So that's it for me. I love this movie. This is a definite recommendation. And I am back tomorrow with another Star Trek Discovery review. Alrighty, guys. If you guys have seen this movie and you have your own thoughts, please leave me a message down in the comments. If you're liking my videos, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and come on back for more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cue that music.